I'd like to know what company you work for, because it's a bit strange to be kicked out for no particular yeah, reason. Don't hey, don't touch my phone. Don't touch me. Yeah, don't do that for me. You, don't no. That, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What company do you work for? It's not a big deal. It's like, what company do you work for? If you, if you come near me, I'll, I'll bring you down, okay? <laughs> I'm not talking with you now. Yeah, whatever. I think I'm going to call the police, you fucking dick. Call the, call the police. Why won't you tell me what company you work for? He's kicking me out for no reason. It's very strange. If you come in, I'll kick you down. If you yeah, come whatever. In, I'll be that back. You're gonna what? Back, huh? That's assault, you fucker. Give me my phone back. Stay back. Give me my fucking phone back. Why, why, why are you doing it? Because you're not telling Stay me back, who you work for. You're probably a criminal. Stay back. You're probably associated with the people that killed my friend for fuck's sake. Give me my phone. Then go. Give me my phone. Give me no, my fucking time. phone. If you can, I'll, 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 I'll bring you down, okay? Give me my fucking I'll phone. Can someone call the cops? Give me my fucking phone, you go dick. Away. Go away from me. Give me my phone. Go away from me. Give me my phone, go and I'll go. Me. Don't video me again, okay? I'll give it to you. If you video me again, I'm going to bring it down, okay? You shouldn't don't be paranoid of it, but okay. Go. It shouldn't bother you that I'm videotaping you. You're a security guard. What company do you work for? Now go. Now go. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going, but I'm calling the cops. I'm not kidding with you either. He's, he's worried about being filmed. Listening to the security guard? He could be a rapist for fuck's sake. They killed a friend of mine. Fuck you. Listen to this guy? Nobody's gonna listen Thank to you behaving like that. As far as I'm concerned, you look just like the rapist. You're not telling the police the truth or me the truth about why there's a problem here. Wow, that's pretty typical. That's really typical for security guards, especially canine security, I don't know. I suspect it's them. And he, he doesn't want to tell me his name or, or who he works for or anything. The manager looked terrified. The, the manager looked terrified. And uh, the other guy came over four or five times to ask me within 10 minutes if I needed help to get, uh, like, to get out of there. <laughs> so I'm not sure why they do that. Considering I look like a regular person, and I don't recognize a single fucking person in that whole building. Well, except for all the gang suckers. All the customers, half of them. I recognize half the customers, and that lady that told me you should listen to him. I recognize her. I've seen her several times. How come this thing's not opening? Anyways. It's nice to have just locked. <clears throat> so, but as far as the people that work there, and this security guard, I don't recognize either of them. So I'm not quite sure why uh, they kicked me out. Does this guy work for you guys? He's one of yours? You pay him? Who, what company do you work for? What company do you work for? Oh yeah, this guy. What company do you work for? I'm at Northland Mall. He works for your company? You're not saying. Why would you be, not be saying? Are you afraid of something? Like a liability issue? Because uh, it seems very strange. Right? And the manager up there is terrified. Whatever you guys told her scared her. She's scared. Why are you scaring the manager? No, you didn't call the cops. They'd show up if you called the cops. I am going to be reporting this all to the police, believe me. Because it's strange that you're doing this to anybody. I was there for less than 10 minutes. I was asked 10 times if I needed help. And I'm almost done. And then you get this guy to come and kick me out. That was the cops he called. K9 security, I presume he won't give us the name. The manager up there is scared. There's no reason she should be scared. Okay, and these videos, they're deep fake videos. They're not real. They kill people. They kill people. These videos are faked. So nobody here knows me except for the gang stalkers, and I don't recognize or know any of you people. So there's a problem here. You need to tell the police, at the very least. They'll tell me, I'm sure, but you won't for some weird reason. Well, because I would like your help. I'd like to get this solved one of these days because they raped and murdered a friend of mine. They said they killed my sister. They're threatening to kill my dad, my mother, and me. So that's why I want to figure out what's going on. I, I, don't even grow, I didn't even grow up here. I don't know a single person in this city. What the fuck happened that you come to kick me out for no reason? You lied twice or three times. One, you've been here a long time. No, I haven't. Two, you're refusing to tell me what company you guys work for. Three, you said you call the police. You didn't do any of them.
The guy broke my phone, okay? He took my phone, he's paranoid, and he won't say who he works for. He identified him as one of you guys, works for you, but he won't tell me who you work for either. Yeah, I know, but I just don't know. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere with you guys. You know, I'm going to have to call the police and wait for them anyways. So, I mean, it's like kind of like, why don't you tell me the information I want? Is that your job? You're told not to tell anybody these pieces of information? Because I've never met a security guard that won't tell you who he works for. It says Paladin Security on his thing. What? So do you have a number or something? Okay, I'm at Northland Mall. His thing says Paladin Security. Pretty sure the other guy was K-9, but he doesn't tell me anything, and he had no markings on his uniform. They're acting very strange. And like I said, the manager of Winners was terrified. She looked terrified. I'm sure she was. And it's probably to do with illegal deep fake videos. Probably, just a good guess, considering I have seven years of this shit. And they will lie to police. They said they called police twice. The other guy said, we're calling police again. So this guy said he's calling police, and he called that guy. That guy came, said, attacked me, took my phone, said he's calling police now. So he went upstairs to not call the police, no doubt, because they don't want to talk to the police because they're criminals. You should go to the police in person. Don't tell your colleagues you're going. You'll be okay if you do that. Jeez. That's pretty much what I've had to deal with for seven years, but it's really strange when they get angry and scared. It's kind of nice. I'm pretty sure something's wrong with that. Ah. Dumb kid. <laughs> Same paranoid security guard. Wow. I, I think I almost prefer the, the kids and the, <laughs> the shit and the psychopath out here. Fuck, that's almost more fun. But this is clearly a problem. There's something there, there's a crime being committed, and they know what it is, but they're not going to tell anybody, nor do they want anything to do with police. Yeah, they're security guards. So, and I am genuinely confused about what they told the manager and everything else to cause that to happen. And when he said he's calling police and he called that guy, that's obvious to crime. He's impersonating the police. That company, K9, convinced the manager at Safeway they were the police. They stole a bag of mine once, and then I went to get it. He said, go to the police station, because they're the police for real. The manager of the Northeast Safeway was convinced that company was the police. I went, I did go to the police station knowing what they'd say. That's stupid. We're not the police. Just find out where their head office is. Go there and ask them. They're convinced. They tell people that they are the police, they tell people they're calling police all the time. And they don't give me a reason for anything. They lie. They say, well, you've been here a long time. I just got there. I just got there. Went in the store, I was looking through for an item, and it took me like 10 minutes. In that 10 minutes, five or six times, people asked me if I needed help. The manager was scared. That guy came two times. He's like, do you need some help? He's panicking. Panicking. Right, saying I should go. Why? That's it's clearly a weird kind of brand of criminal harassment, that's for sure. It amounts to criminal harassment, but they're scared and they're paranoid. That's uh, their problem, really. It doesn't bug me too much, except I got kicked out and I wasn't allowed to finish my purchase or anything. Plus, nobody there should even recognize. And every time I mentioned deep fake, they didn't even acknowledge knowing what it meant. So clearly, they know what deep fake is, and they probably showed the manager a video. The video is seriously a crime. She won't tell anybody because they tell her they'll put her in jail if she shows it to anybody or tells anybody. So she's scared of those people, no doubt. They get paid money for it. I doubt they even collect a paycheck, honestly. Canines, that's one of the worst. Uh, they don't have their company name on their uniform, probably because they changed their name. And they don't use that name anymore. Probably, I'm just guessing again, fuck the dinks. Fucking jerks. And why, why don't you just go? I don't know, why don't you just pick your nose? It's like, it's like hours and hours of like bizarre questions here. So it might, it might seem like I did something wrong, but I'm sure I didn't do anything wrong, nor do I recognize any of them. Nor should there be any reason for them to say any of that. No, I can't think of anything other than the gang stalking, the harassment, where they point someone out and claim stuff that's insane, where they share videos and help film them amongst each other and then people they say they saw something and they identify you and then say the bullshit they saw in the video in front of other people it's very hard to get a hold of the video but the security guards know what the video is definitely 
and security guards next to police and doctors or the and politicians are the few people that know what a deep fake is. Okay? And these guys know, but they're not even gonna acknowledge that they know what that is. Especially in front of anybody like the manager they showed a video to, they're they're freaking out. Because they're sick, these people. They're getting paid money and they don't even know anything about the people they're terrorizing. And the video might look good, but it's not real. It's just not real. And so their excuse is not gonna be the video or nothing. Their excuse is gonna be something like, oh, he was he was loud, he was taking forever to leave, whatever. I wasn't loud, I didn't make a peep, didn't even make a sound the whole time. I didn't open my mouth the whole time, I was in the goddamn mall, okay? And I went upstairs, parked my cart, went in there, within 10 minutes, that guy with the yellow vest, is his paladin security, by the way, so we were just talking about this today. They put on any security vest, high-res vest, and start pretending they're working. But he's not pretending, he's there all day. So I'm guessing Paladin security? But that's a bit weird. They're not insane, usually. Canine is all, almost always insane. So I'm thinking maybe put on that vest because they didn't have 